Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you and actually provide you with an overview of three OneDrive locations you might find on your PC. Uh, I really want to explain this because I, I find that this particular uh, subject confuses the hell out of many users. And I would like to explain to you what each location means and what it does. So I'm right now on my Windows Explorer. And if you notice on the left hand side, I have three different locations, OneDrive Personal, OneDrive SharePoint Maven. And then it just says, you know, the building icon with a SharePoint Maven name. And all these files have been synchronized, but I want to explain where they are synchronized from. We'll start with OneDrive Personal. OneDrive Personal um, is really really has nothing to do with the Office 365 um, you know company account that you have. Uh, it's a personal account that you have as part of uh, Microsoft Windows, and essentially um, it's for your personal files. Again, has nothing to do with your company account. Um, so typically, when you purchase a new PC, um, you know this is kind of pre-installed already for you. So all you need to do is just kind of authenticate, log in, and uh, uh, this is just really personal files that are, you know, synchronized to the cloud. Uh, now, uh, and again, all they are just tied into whatever user ID you're using uh, with your Windows uh, operating system. Um, now, let's talk about this other two locations, uh, which kind of, you know, are tied together. Um, and uh, one is called OneDrive Dash. In my case, you know, SharePoint Maven. In your case, it will uh, say the, you know, essentially state your company's name. And then uh, the second option uh, right here is the, you know, again, you will see your company name next to a building icon, little blue building icon. So what, what are those? This OneDrive dash, you know, company name corresponds to your personal OneDrive account that you get as part of Office 365 subscription. So uh, here is my, um, well, this is my SharePoint site, but if you go and click on Office 365 App Launcher, click on OneDrive, uh, you will notice your personal files that are stored within the company network, if you will. And, um, you know, just, um, um, just to um, kind of uh, repeat what I stated in previous videos, but essentially uh, each, user within your organization each user ha, uh, you know has um, you know own uh, onedrive essentially it's a personal little space in the cloud and it's tied to your user id uh, and the only thing you can do here is just pretty much store your files and folders and obviously by default it's private unless you share it with others but in any case um, um, back to the original topic when i synchronized this um, all this, you know, folders, uh, all this files and folders to my Windows Explorer, uh, I ended up with this OneDrive dash, you know, company name uh, section. And if you notice, this is the same uh, files and folders that you get to see, uh, that you get to see on, um, you know, in my, uh, on my personal OneDrive account. All right. Um, so again, you know, this is, uh, this OneDrive is different from this OneDrive because uh, this is purely personal. These are personal files, but uh, that are stored within the company network, if you will. And then the last option here is the little uh, blue uh, building icon with the, the company name. So what this are, this are different document libraries from various SharePoint sites that you are part of and again you know uh, they're not magically they are not going to magically appear on your windows explorer you have to synchronize them just like you synchronize your um you know your personal um you know onedrive so let me uh, now navigate to one of my sites here we go uh perfect uh, this happens to be an hr site and when i press that sync button it synchronized this library uh, from the hr site and i end the top with uh, essentially, uh, with uh, you know all you know with this particular library, and if you notice, right, same folders that you saw previously on the SharePoint side, they're now on my uh, you know on my C drive. So, and you know, I ended up synchronizing all these other libraries as well. You have to sync each and every library that you want uh, uh, to eventually you know kind of see on your Windows Explorer. Um, so. Uh, and obviously, right, I mean, this, uh, back to this, this is kind of personal, these are personal files, again, that are within the company network. This would be 
kind of your team files, right? Because they're stored on a uh, document library um, on a shared, uh, you know, on a team site somewhere, let's say. Um, so this, are really, this is really the difference uh, I wanted to explain to you today. Um, uh, hopefully this clarifies a few questions for you. Uh, hopefully you learned something new today. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.